This is The Party with Serene and Pearl. Get it right, P-O-D-D-Y. It's a magical day on the hilltop at the Trim Healthy Podcast. And Pearl's back. I mean, uh, it's been Serene and I. Yeah. And Before that, just Pearl and you. Nope. Yes. Nope. First? Yes. <laughs> first it was Les and I. Yes. Then it was Pearl and I. There, see? Then it was Serene and I. Yes. And now the... And we, we had special guests. Wow, wow. Last week we were back together, but we had Esther. But this is the just us three. Yeah. I got to tell you, I love being with you guys. I oh. missed you. I missed us. I missed you. But I actually have some pod meat. Get it. And Crock I pot saved on. it for this potty for mm-hmm. when the three of us were back together in the mm-hmm. band with... Um, You've been stewing? With, with Leslie Pops and John and Ben. Carrots? And potatoes? I've been stewing on this. And it's a story. I would like to share with you all uh, about my sister. Oh. And the more I thought about Ooh. it, I got some meat churning in that crock mm. pot. Mm. Um, so it's kind of a funny story, and I'm going to make a leap. Like there's going to be the story about Serene, and then I'm, there's going to be an analogy, Nervous. and then I'm going to bring some things for your life. Some mineral life. salt, if you will, yeah, sprinkled. Yeah, we're, we're going to season it up real nice. Okay. So when we were together in Mexico, us uh, couples – um, we went to this, we went to the pyramids, the ancient pyramids the outside Pinarids? Mexico City. The Pomarids. Yes. That's and you're talking about guy you and Serene and, and your husbands. Yeah. When we were in Mexico. That's right. I don't we go once being there, a year so. and we, we're couples and we go and it's our, our annual Is it fun? Thing. Oh, oh, so fun. You guys we had enjoy a guide it? and he kept on talking about the Pomarids. We didn't know I what did he, not know what he was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> we were looking at the pyramids the whole time. Oh, incredible. Oh, you pronounced it Pomarids. Yeah. Pomarids. Yes. And sorry about my voice. I've been in a lot of like airplanes and stuff. She took up smoking. <laughs> she didn't. She but anyway, so we on, on the way. Part of this tour was we went to this. Um, what would you call it? It was a place where they a restaurant um, carved gems out oh. of stones and rocks. Quarry, kind of like that. They had cactuses around. Anyway, they they had a lot of beautiful jewelry for sale. Part of the whole deal was you're supposed to go by there and buy some on the way. You know. Okay. Yeah. And um, we all looked at some. I'm not much of a jewelry person. My husband didn't buy me any, but that, I mean, that's fine. <laughs> oh. But Serene, we all saw this beautiful, actually, Serene. And how did I, I know? I taken it off. I knew she would be wearing this today because she didn't take it off. Okay, so look at her. I was about to describe it, but she's wearing it. <laughs> we all looked at this beautiful opal necklace and it had earrings. It's, it's Mexican fire opal. It had earrings. These are actual like this jewels is real. from the earth. This is real. Okay. So Serene nice. has never had real jewelry in her life. Have you? No. Nope. Ever. Mm-hmm. Never. Never. She wears a lot of jewelry, but it's all fake. That's all fake. Um, so she looked at it. And I am allergic to to the fake metal. So I go to Hobby Lobby and just buy the like sterling silver little bunk things, like the little hooks. And I go to Walmart, buy all the cheap junk and just hang oh, them on the little custom yeah. creation. It's all cheap junk. I mean, this looks fantastic. Yeah. And, and we all looked at it, all of us. And we said, oh my goodness, that's so serene because it's just, just so, can you turn your phone off? You know, so vivid. It was just something about it that just spoke Just for the serene. podcast, not for any other And reason. Serene said, oh, I do love it, but never thought that, because we looked at the price. It was real opals. I mean, it was several hundred dollars. She never had jewelry like that in her life. And we all just looked and said, yeah, that's really beautiful. But then we thought, well, we don't buy jewelry like, you know, no one in our family does that sort of thing. <laughs> we grew up poor. We can't do that, you know. Yeah. It's, it's a bit of a leap. So we all just got after we saw, we all got back in the van. Even my wedding ring was like gold melted down from his grandmother's. Yeah. Thing. Like we didn't have to buy it, you yeah. know. We, we get it. back into the van with the tour guide and um, Serene, uh, Sam hands Serene the beautiful opal necklace and the earrings. Oh, and like, yes. And it was just, you know, it was really precious because how many years have you been married? Oh, a good 20 years. Um, Five twenty six. Yeah, okay, she doesn't know. So yeah, something like long that. time. <laughs> I could I could count it if you gave me a chance. But like Serene was just so overcome, and I said to myself in my head, I bet she won't take this off because you know whatever Serene does, yeah, she really does. <laughs> yeah, she does. If she pours a little cumin in the soup, she pours a lot of cumin in yeah. the soup. And I thought in my head, she's not going to take this jewelry off because it means so much to her. You know, that her husband would do this. Mm-hmm. And she put it on. Have you taken I, I wear mean, it in the shower? She wears it <laughs> in her gym clothes. Mm-hmm. Every day during Mexico, she'd be in like like casual gear. She works out the jolly necklace and the 
bearings are still on. <laughs> And, you know, so then I went home. Serene was still stuck in Mexico. Like they, a little kid when it gets its yes. new thing. You know, it's just like you just can't. But I'm going to bring a point soon, okay? It's so, good enough. So, you know, I would say I was back here in America. Serene was there for another week with her family. And then they got stuck there for a few days. And, you know, so we've been, we've got this uh, group, Treasure Hunters. It's it's a private group. But Serene was in there doing her lives. Every day she was wearing that stinking jewelry. I'm like, oh, my goodness, she's still wearing it. <laughs> you know, at, at one point I'm like, Come on, Serene. You know that. Do you know the end of the story? That he brought me more. No, I did not know. So that. we went to this Mexican, you know, doctor. Uh, not doctor, um, Mr. Leonzo's. Yes. Um, like you know, like big. Uh, I don't he's, know, he has he a has restaurant a there in Mazatlan. Place yeah. And so they had that silver, silver factory. Oh yes. At the outside. And so we went in there, and Sam saw this ring. Oh, it matches. That matches. Oh, and nice. a bracelet that matches. But I can't wear that yet because it had a clasp that's oh. I've, I've, it's fallen off me twice. And Sam's like, oh, we're going to get that clasp that fixed. But anyway, um, it means so much to me, this, this little ring and the bracelet too, because it was already – Above and beyond, yeah. Like his personality to do to do the earrings of the neck. It was already uh, it, like it spoke to me of his just love. And then when he did this, this reminds me of like his his the fullness like of his whole heart because he, the it wasn't enough. He wanted yeah. to like he said you got to deck the whole like it's got to be something on the finger and the wrist. I want it like all places. And so whenever I look down at it, I think of like just. Because, you know, and right now in our life, we don't have money to throw around either. Mm-hmm. So it was kind of just like, oh, my goodness, like it was above and beyond. Anyway. no, I and, think and the men listening, if they are, should just be taking well, notes. I, I think there's something really special because am. Sam has not been like a jewelry person that he buys it or for you. Or a flower buyer. Or a- he, he's not. I mean, he, he, you know, I love watching Sam and Serene's relationship. It's something that is, is, is a very beautiful, precious marriage that they have both um, sparked into what it is. You know, I think you were two young people and you came together and you just said, we will love and you have loved and you've believed love. And and this represents that. I saw when Serene put that on, you know, she's like, we're 26 years into marriage and he hasn't been, you know, this this person that's bought this all for me. And now after all these years, he buys it. <laughs> and I could just tell what was going on in Serene's head. And it said, every time she wears it, it speaks of what they've built. Yes. It says, I am loved. It says, we are love. And look who you are to me. And and every time I know that when you put that on, you know you are loved. Mm-hmm. It's a visual representation. Yes. Mm-hmm. It is. It is. You're, you're and totally you, right. And you shout it to the world. It's not just a necklace to me. It has so much meaning. And I told that to him about this. I'm like, it's not just a ring. Like, I will not take it off. It's not. It's not a fashion statement. It's not a decoration. No, it's not. It's yeah. it, it it is a visual representation mm-hmm. of what you and Sam mm-hmm. have built. And when you look at it and you're declaring it, you're declaring it to yourself yeah. all day long. When you look mm-hmm. at that, I yeah. am loved. It speaks. It says mm-hmm. it's the banner over mm-hmm. your head. You yes. know, it's the banner okay, that you're a, wearing. I have a question because I, I I need this now, okay? Is the I, I already know that the the price is irrelevant, mm-hmm. right? But real jewelry just costs a lot more. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's more quality built. It's not going to like the clasp won't break mm-hmm. as easily. You can go and add to it later because it's an actual jewel that has mm-hmm. a, a color that's sort of like set by nature. Mm-hmm. So you can be in a whole nother country and find opal or mm-hmm. name that. What is that? A uh, Mexican fire opal. Fire yeah. opal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you find Mexican fire mm-hmm. opal, 20 years later, it's going to match that necklace. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so obviously like price means quality. It means um, lasting. It means that, you know, th- this is going to look good with f- future outfits, right? It's not- I don't even care if it clashes. Mm-hmm. Like I wear it clashing yeah, yeah, right. usually. But typically something that nice. I don't even take it off if I wear a choke neck. Do you well, take it, it off when you sleep though? Um, no, most of the time I forget. Yeah. And, and, yeah, I, I think it's something I'll to do it with it was, Danny, it's not the that it was, obviously you can buy jewelry a lot more than several hundred dollars, right? Sometimes yeah. it's thousands. But I think because it, it is quality and it's real, it's also another layer of what they've built. But I want to know, is the price, like you knew that it was sort of like frivolous money, like too much for where we're at shouldn't right now, budget-wise. It shouldn't be spent at the time. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it shouldn't have been spent at the time. <laughs> are you conscious, it, 
has that impacted at all how you feel about it? Is what it I'm shouldn't have, but yeah, it felt sacrificial. Okay, that's what yeah, I wanted it felt to know. Sacrificial. So that because that is the data I'm it, looking for. It felt sacrificial, <laughs> but it, it's not really the main thing. The main thing is that he actually took the second thought to go ahead and do it. So you might have a bucket thought, maybe like, oh, that'd be nice to buy that for somebody. But then it's just that bucket thought and it flew in and it flew out. Yeah, but if it was 10 bucks, if it was 10 bucks and you're like, oh yeah, get it. I don't know that the impact would be the same. I think you had to walk away from it. And that's what I'm trying to make sure. I never even asked him to buy it for me. So it's it's not like he, he had the idea himself. He just noticed you liked it? Yeah. Yeah, Okay. I like it. Okay. Notes taken. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Notes taken. And, and I think, you know, I think it wouldn't have even meant as much if he was a jewelry buyer or if mm-hmm. he did this periodically. This is the first time he's ever done this. And yeah. I think that's why it spoke so mm-hmm. much because at this time of their season, mm-hmm. you know, of their life, when they've been through, you know, we all go through things, every relationship, and they've been through that. Mm-hmm. And, and, and what they've built is strong. Mm-hmm. And what they've built is is something that um that that love has built. I mean, you Built it, Serene. We together, yeah. Together, mm-hmm. you and Sam have built this beautiful thing. You know, I watch you and you're, you and Sam, and you are, you've built, I mean, romance. I mean, it's like your, it's like your, you know, young honeymoon is in love. But that's something that you've cultivated mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. And so here's where I want to make the leap. You, when I saw you and I was like back at home here and I saw you on one of the lives with your crazy necklace on, still <laughs> on, I thought to myself, but you know what? That is powerful because you are telling yourself every day, declaring something to yourself about your marriage, about who you are. You're saying, I am loved. I also leave it on for him too. Yes, to him, yeah. to see that you appreciate it, yeah. of course. Mm-hmm. And, and to saying, you know, I am loved. Our marriage has worth. And, um, and, and you declare it all day long to everyone you meet. This is, you know, a, declare, a declaration. And I thought to myself, Showing ourselves things is very powerful. Mm-hmm. And now I want to make the leap and bring it back to Trim Healthy and our lives make that leap. and our health. We have to look at the good in our lives and show it. Mm-hmm. So, Serene, honestly, you could have received that jewelry and put it somewhere and just thought, oh, how nice, right? Mm-hmm. But you actually use it i mean you make it a powerful powerful exclamation point in your life well it was like i like i really i actually when i'm writing the book i'm yeah. in my room writing a book right now i'll even like touch it mm-hmm. and 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 it, there's messages going to my brain about about yes. our marriage not about the jewelry no about our marriage it's not about the jewelry <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and that's what i'm i'm trying to say so these, and, and it can be a relationship. It can be many things. But what we focus on and what we declare and what we choose to highlight, mm-hmm. right? You've chosen to highlight this to say, our love is strong. I am loved. Look what we've built. It is beautiful. And I will show it to everyone. I'll declare it. I'll declare it to myself. All my cells in my body will know I am mm-hmm. loved because I'm wearing this shiny blue thing every day that mm-hmm. represents something so beautiful. You know, and I thought to myself, what are we showing ourselves all day long? Mm-hmm. If we want something in our lives, like a strong marriage, or but let's say we want a strong, you know, life of health and strength and vigor. What are we showing ourselves about it? Like when you open your fridge, mm-hmm. are the things in there shouting things to you? Are they saying something about your life? Or are they kind of just like hiding in the background and they're not? And that's just what I thought. You know, when we see things about ourselves, it's like what that guy, James Clear, who wrote the book Atomic Habits, right? He calls it, what does he call it? He calls it um, environment design. When we design our environment with visual clues about who we are and about our habits and about what we would do, it becomes incredibly more powerful than when our lives just look humdrum. And we don't see what we are about. Mm-hmm. It's so interesting you're saying that because I love to open my fridge from time to time, look at the homemade kraut, mm-hmm. look at the mm-hmm. the special tahini that that I know is like first. You Tells know, you first who you first. are. Yeah, and I look at the things in there, and I'm like, oh, that's right. This I'm about all this. Yeah, we don't so all have to be kefir makers, but when I see my kefir fermenting in my cupboard. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm a girl who looks after her gut. Man, that's great. I just, I love that I look after my gut. I love that I'm about that, mm-hmm. you know? And um, 
you know, when another thing is our, our, our cart, we've talked about, we've had episodes here on the, on the party about grocery carts, right? And trying not to be too judgmental, you know, and our cart is so awesome. <laughs> but I think putting things in our cart and, and being proud of them, not having to be perfect. Of course, mm-hmm. some corn chips go in sometimes for that party or what do you have to buy something for your husband? I'm not talking about that. I'm talking when you've got beautiful greens and bright berries and you've got proteins in your cart, you know, and, and you walk around. Have you ever felt the pride of it, Dan? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Swelling my chest. And it's a good pride, right? It's oh, like, yeah. this is who I am. Yeah, at I first I judged everyone. Yeah, that, like, that comes like at when first. When you're a rookie, right? When yeah. you're first getting in the grocery store and your cart is bursting with greens and yeah. blues from the blueberries and all this color and then you see like <laughs> like Mama Tope over there. Yeah. You know? Yeah, everything's and taupe. It's all taupe. Pick. Yeah. Diet Coke, bread, pasta, cereal. Taupe, taupe, Potato taupe. Chips. It's like the bar at a hotel when the food is free in the morning. Yeah. The, mm-hmm. What do they call that? The um, continental. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the continental. What is that? By the continental, it's like yeah. <laughs> yeah but what's what's Bagel, that word mean? Waffle. Yeah. Is an attempt at saying like brown. taste of the world, <laughs> like <laughs> continental, intercontinental, like a global spread of a feast. I think it feast. means not cooked, and it's all taupe. It's yeah. just this taupe Cheerio stuff. Anyways, yeah, I was judgy at first. I know, um, but yeah, but once you get over that judgy and you just do it for your identity, uh, you do it because you you, it's you know part what? Of you. It's sort How of does it feel? It's sort of the secret discipline too, because if I um, put like wrong stuff in the cart and then it ends up in the fridge or in the cupboard, and then I'm feeling peckish at eleven, I'm never going to grab that carrot. Yeah. I find it's very helpful to just not even have the options in the house because you think in your head, I'm going to have these options and rarely will I just dip into the the stuff that's not best for me. Mm-hmm. But the truth is, is you, the carrots go bad. I know the carrots You'll go bad. Always get, other things. It, it's just, it's brain chemistry. You're always going to grab the yeah. easier, quicker, carbier, fattier, nuttier. Have you ever like put your stuff through, you know, the checkout and like they'll have, you know, the, whoever the person is doing it comments on your oh. food? Oh, I, the commenters. It's, Sometimes it's, it's I like it. It's beautiful, right? It's, it's beautiful. It can be. Sometimes I'm not in the mood for it. Really? Because I, I love it. it when they say, oh, you eat really healthy. It's sort of like looking at my underwear drawer. Really? I love oh, it. No, I, I don't mind it at all. You Typically, I'm, I, br- I like bring it on, you know, because I, I feel like I'm impressing them. Yeah. And they're like, oh, where's this? I'm like, yeah, you would But know. isn't it? Is, I think it's fine. I don't think we have to be prideful. I just think we're declaring to the world that we're someone who loves our health journey. And we're saying it to ourselves, and we're saying it to the world. And it's like Serene wearing that jolly necklace every day. You know, I love my husband. I am loved by my husband. And I mean, it's the same thing, right? Unless you have an air of your house dedicated to where you would do some exercise, you're not going to. You have to see it. Yeah, I've got see I've it. got a True. bunch of weights upstairs, and I know they're there. They, I see yeah, them. They yeah. tell me things. They, they can't they, be in the closet. No, they tell me what I do. Yeah, and also yeah. like it. it you know, I like I can I've so made the jump with you, Pearl, because I I totally I totally am a prop person. Mm-hmm. Props speak to me about mm-hmm. my my lifestyles because if I put on my special shoes that I weight lift in in the morning yeah. on my days that I know I'm going to be lifting, they're speaking to my cells the whole time. I feel like a weightlifter. I look down. I look like yes. one. Like like it's like in my head, I'm part of the gang, the tribe of people that do this, and I'm I'm wearing the. I, I know you don't have to wear the stuff. No, but it but helps. It helps. It's declaring. <laughs> it really does. You yeah. know, I do have to say something about yoga pants, right? You know, yeah. I mean, okay, you can go to the supermarket like in Franklin, Tennessee, every woman is in the yoga pants, but yeah. guess what? And some people think, oh, it's a little bit immodest because they're showing their butt, but guess what? Well, where's that around that we They go to the just store, went and they worked. At, you see, it's, it's, they are saying something about themselves. Yeah. Even though they, you can wear yoga pants and not work out, a lot of them do. They just came from the gym or they just came from their home and they did a workout and they're wearing the yoga pants because they're declaring something to themselves. Yes. I look after my body. Yeah. Well, you know, it's interesting. I mean, I'm the type that, you know, if I'm going to go out to the store, I'll just get like a, a long sleeve shirt and tie it around, mm-hmm. you know, whatever, all, all people to their own selves. But at home, when I wear those yoga pants, Oh, I know I'm going to exercise. When yeah. I wear jeans, I might or might not. I they're won't. Kind of, if I wear jeans, the, I'm not. <laughs> yes. They're kind of the new stockings though, right? Yeah, yeah. Like women used to wear, I just did, I, I'm talking, which means the camera's cut on me and then I scratch my nose <laughs> and now I'm really aware of it. Well, I've been chewing all the little bits in my yuck yum, <sighs> all the little bits of resistant starch and tiger nuts. Yeah. So I've been like getting them out like of my Like typically teeth. now that we're videoing, when when either of you are talking, it's like my time to be like, 
But then I just did it while I'm talking and this whole show's ruined. <laughs> I don't even know what I was going to say. Pearl? It was about the new stockings, you said. Women used to wear stockings to sort of slim yeah. the legs, to to perfect the legs, yeah. right? And now I think the yoga pant has taken over. Yeah, the that. yoga pant has taken mm -hmm. over. I yeah, like I, I really feel like um, there are some things that women get to do that um, I know better, but um, would would be cool if men could do it. <laughs> oh, see, I thought I was the only one. I thought I was an absolute strange bird um, because I would, during the day, open up my cupboards to just appreciate um, how healthy <laughs> they looked or open up my fridge to appreciate it. And I'd even have little fantasies <laughs> and I would, I would fantasize that I was not there. And like, I, like I had some like person at home repair person come in <laughs> And, you know, okay. and was just repairing the house or whatever. The family was gone. And then they just decided to open the fridge and cupboards because I would do that. Yeah. And it tells you a lot about people. And I saw them opening up and saying, oh, my goodness, these people <laughs> are the healthiest people on earth. <laughs> like these people. Oh, I'm so inspired. Like I fantasize that whole thing. They are doing life right. No, but it's just like I, it speaks to me about what we do. I like to get the visual of my life. Yeah, do. the visual is so strong, right? What do we call it? And the memory pegs, Serene. Yeah. Memory pegs help us know who we are and they really cement something in and us. And is so that why you've become a bed maker? Because when you when you make that bed and you walk and you see that beautiful marriage bed all decked out with its romantic duvet cover and it doesn't look like you're just like all gr it's like grot sheet fest. <laughs> grot. Like bachelor no, pad there in are grot college. Sheets but when it though. looks like <laughs> this is the honeymoon suite, it holds good memories, right? And it speaks to you. It's the visual of… Yeah, well, I never thought it like that because I always thought of making my bed as more like an organization peaceful thing when my bed's unmade i don't feel at peace oh well, when i see my but bed made i'm like love boudoir of heaven you think oh yeah. you think the song solomon thoughts. oh straight away <laughs> i'm just like i think I'm so still taking I think, notes yeah, yeah i'm more so more so perhaps yeah. i think so do you have the um at the corners the posts that go up mm. oh no no, a bit much. That would that would no one would love that. That would definitely be serene. I song. have but had you would. I have had my mattress on the floor, so it's more Bedouin style, and Bedouin. then hung with the like things. linens yeah. from the top, like draping down, so there's only like this little opening. It's almost like a Bedouin tent within the room, and then I tattooed with like black sharpie all like the Song of Solomon. But it all fell down, though, it? didn't it? No, that was. Oh, is that the situation. one you caught on fire? Yeah. No, that was another situation. <laughs> another situation. Yeah, go back, what, like four years ago and listen to our Foxy Mama podcast? Yeah, <laughs> yeah the windscreen caught something on fire. No, but I think of it, even just little simple things you can do to remind yourself of who you are and what you're doing mm -hmm. is, I mean, this but is… But, but, hey, point, and in, in, I really want to bring that point. Okay, what? If you want your marriage intimacy to go from a B to an A or a D to a C, Whatever you want. I feel like the more little visuals you put of this is what we do here in this room. Yeah, that's true. I feel like it helps. So like an unmade machine. bed can be very sexy too. An unmade bed? It no, could, only if it's very clean and white and hotel looking. Yeah, that's a good if it's point. It's like got one checkered sheet at the bottom and one floral <laughs> one at the top. It's not working. Yeah, the it's 80s working. floral unmade bed is sort of like stinky. Listen, like, do you I, smoke? What? So what it says to me, like oh. a floral unmade bed. Oh, you're asking no. me, I'm like, shock. No, no. The floral unmade that bed is, is for smokers. Yes, it is. Listen, if you do want to, um, you because you said, listen, if you want to spice your marriage up, I'm just saying you need to get on some hormones. Wait. Well, will talk. How long yeah. have you been saying that? <laughs> Quite a while. Well, you have to preface. We're only 27 minutes in. No, well, well, we'll have different hormone talks about that. But I was going to say before you stop me. Oh, that um, was such a run, run off. No, I'm yeah. just saying um, that, you know, there are hormones. All right, I'll go into Go it. for it. I'm just saying that, you know, we've been talking about bioidentical hormone replacement therapy and we've been talking about how we hope to, we plan to launch our own Trim Healthy Medical place where women can come, men can come, get trustworthy, proper effective help for hormones, right? It's a huge, huge need. Men and women. Men and oh, women. Yes. Oh, yes. But before man. you have the facility, are you going to have products? It's not a facility. It's going it's to be- It's a system. It's a system. It's going to be online, doctors, everything. Telemed. How, how soon? Because we're good, but clock's ticking, right? Yeah, clock's ticking. Um, um, soon this year. Mm. Anyway. Um, we're ways off. You know, people you know. say to me all the time, because Serena and I, especially in our Treasure Hunters group, now we get 
so many questions that we answer. So many of them are hormone questions. Like some, some of them like, but Pearl, I'm on BHERT already and I'm not really feeling different or I have this problem. There's bioidentical hormone replacement therapy and so many practitioners are, are you know, prescribing it and they, and it's, it's, it's like, they don't know what they're doing. It's like Trim Healthy Mama, right? Mm -hmm. You can do Trim Healthy Mama and all you might eat is cream, cream cheese. cheese cheesecakes and yeah. you call it Trim Healthy Mama. Yeah, you do yeah. the it's Pinterest not version. Trim Healthy Mama. No, it's not. Trim Healthy Mama is whole foods from the earth where you're getting your carbs and you're getting your best of your proteins and you're getting your veggies and it's plant strong and it's wonderful protein strong and it's smart. Yes. And, it's a whole, and the crossovers when you yes. do them are so smart. And it's a whole pants. world away. And I understand when you first start, you know, you might come to Trim Healthy Mama and, and have some, you know, cheesecake and you're like, I'm doing Trim Healthy Mama. And that's fine. That's a great entrance way. And it's the same thing with bioidentical hormones. There's an entrance to it where you first have to get optimized and that can take a while. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a right practitioner, it can never happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so all I'm saying is I've been doing on bioidentical hormones now for, is it two and a half years? Mm -hmm. And there's layer upon layer of optimizing them. And I'm just saying for a spicy marriage, um, you can get to certain places where it's so fantastic when you get your estrogen optimized and your testosterone optimized. And you can go back to when you were 18 and so can your husband and be on honeymoon forever. Dang. And then you have this special hobby between you, you yeah. know? Now, is it <laughs> – I know about this hobby. <laughs> um, now, is this like – I'm, I've worked with men's clinics. Yeah, you with, have. Okay, their, you've been like a spokesperson or interviewed. Yeah, helping them with media and things like yeah. that. And I've learned about like they just do shots yeah. and things like that. Is this what you're talking about? Is it like tea shots? Well, and, uh, for men, it would be tea shots or tea creams or any way to optimize the testosterone when it's not so in So there's creams range. and shots. But there's you're going to do mediums. classic like what's happening now. For yes. above what's happening yeah like now. very cutting edge things very yeah, cutting okay. edge but we're because talking really needles. you know when we first no not necessarily we talking what sorry it, it can be a capsule it can be a cream you don't have to do so a there's needle. all sorts of approaches yeah. oh, oh so many we're gonna have so many options because and depends. for a woman if it's ever a needle it's just sub cute it's like yeah. a little pinprick it depends it's not on budget stuff. it yeah. depends upon your lifestyle it depends upon what you want you know but all bio identical <laughs> exactly like the body knows exactly what to do with it. The body yeah. said, this is normal, healthy hormones. But think hormones. about it. You know, when Serena and I first wrote our Trim Healthy book, like over 10 years ago now, hormones were a big part of it even then. Yeah. Like with this, it's just coming full circle for us because one of the biggest, you know, several chapters of that book were about hormones. Yeah. And about bioidentical hormones, even though we really, we just loved them, but we hadn't really applied them in our own lives. Mm -hmm. But now we're all starting to get to those ages where our hormones are declining, so they're in the need. But I don't even know how we got to Well, that. I do want to say this, because we're talking about, like, you know, um, a visual of your bedroom, you know, oh, okay. like the visuals are good. Danny just is no longer on camera. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, our cameras are heating up, people. But I, I do want to say this. Um, you know, what was I going to say? It was going to be really it's good. It's about the bedroom. <laughs> no, actually, it wasn't. It was about, oh, oh yeah. People, if you're listening and you're a first-time listener to the Trim Healthy Party, and you're like, freak out, what are they talking about? You know, it sounds so unnatural. Well, you know, we just want to be good farmers of our soil, of health, right? You know, what does a farmer do? He amends the soil. If it's lacking a certain thing, he's like, okay, well, I'm going to enrich it with this. I'm going to put some lime in the soil or I'm going to put some, you know, um, fish compost or whatever to really uh, enrich it. And when, when there's been depletion of that soil, you buy jingos. He's going to, you know, get it back up to snuff. By and so that's what we yeah. do. That's what we, we do with our bodies. You know, it's like okay, if if our body has become depleted in a very important thing that keeps us in our prime, hormones are what keep you in your prime. You know, you can be seventy odd and feel like you're in your prime when you have your well, hormones. And, you know, optimized. people say to me, Sue, sometimes, well, isn't it natural? You know, we women we go through menopause. Isn't it more natural to just go with that and let our hormones decline at that time, Pearl? Why? Why? Why would you? put them back in when you actually they actually run out well i'm saying i've got why, a cap on my tooth should i have left it okay but i say this especially after menopause but perimenopause especially after the age of 30 we our muscle mass declines every single year so should we just go with it and allow our muscles to atrophy not strength train because that's the natural way of things that they will get atrophied and we will break a hip and we will die or 
do we contend, baby? And do we contend, just strength train and bring them back and put things back in that we're losing? I say contend. Yes, I say contend too. You know, and men weren't born with a razor for their beard. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? But, but, you know, so it's people, if you're going to go just the natural right, don't shave your beard. Don't color your hair. Don't put an implant in if your front tooth falls out. Yeah. Because it's not natural. Maybe you shouldn't wear clothes either. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but back to the whole visual thing, I had one more thing to say. Setting things up in your kitchen that remind you of who you are. I'm not trying to sell our products. You could use other products, but things on your counter, like, okay, my Trim Healthy bags of stuff are all in a basket, but I, it works for me. I like my basket. Some people put them in beautiful canisters. So they're right there. They say how you cook, who you are, what you do to your body. Um, it's the same thing, Serene, when you open your cup and you see all your ferments, right? Mm-hmm. These things are visual. I us. wish they could flow out of like, like, you know, if, if you ever go to like a, like ice cream shop and like, they have like these flow containers that are all gravity fed and you like twist the knob and like jelly beans come out and then you just add the topping. Yeah. That would be so dope to but have like a it wouldn't be good for a baker because you need no? to scoop your one teaspoon or your one tablespoon. But can you just put a teaspoon under and go blink? And then you will waste so much product. Because it'll flow over? Yeah, it will. I think you guys should have a fight. Yeah, thanks for the bad, bad uh, suggestion. No, I'm suggesting <laughs> well, a potential. We have to end better now. A product. Now we have to go back to a point. Oh, we don't need a point. We're done. 34 minutes in and our cameras are getting too hot. Anyway, you and your necklace, you're cute. And I leaped and it was and all good. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>